the nucleolus is the largest distinct region within the eukaryotic nucleus. And eukaryotic cells of virtually every type may possess one or more of these nucleoli, as evidenced here in these images of plant cells and of human cells, where the nucleolus is the dark spot within the nucleus. The nucleolus forms from nucleolar organizer regions. These are regions of specific chromosomes which attract uh, transcription factors, RNAs, uh, and proteins uh, which will then organize the nucleolus, which is not wrapped in a membrane, so it's not uh, separated from the remainder of the nucleus. You can see in these images that many plant cells can have multiple nucleoli, and that is true in humans as well, where most cells will have one or two, but may have more. And in typical mammalian cells, uh, one to five nucleoli are typically present. There are five human chromosomes, chromosomes 13, 14, 15, 21, and 22, which have the same structure. They are acrocentric, and on their short arms, they possess long sets of genes which encode uh, the RNA segments of ribosomes. So they have 43,000 base pair regions and hundreds of copies of this sized region uh, containing these uh, genes. And these then represent the parts of the chromosome which can start the formation of a nucleolus. Uh, the human genome has five of these regions uh, on a haploid set, so uh, 10 regions in diploid nuclei, and uh, more than one nucleolar organizer region can help to form a single nucleolus. The nucleolus forms distinct regions with uh, different protein complements. Uh, the centralmost region is the fibrillar center, where the DNA genes for ribosomal RNA is transcribed. And this is surrounded by the dense fibrillar component uh, where this R RNA is processed. And then finally, by the granular component uh, where the ribosomal RNA and ribosomal proteins are compacted together uh, to complete the pre-ribosomal uh, subunits. The subunits which are made in the nucleolus will be transported from the nucleus and assembled in the cytoplasm where proteins will be synthesized. A growing cell requires millions of ribosomes and the rRNA genes which encode the ribosomal RNA are the most active genes in eukaryotic genomes. Interestingly, nucleoli have roles in other aspects of cell metabolism as well, which are just beginning to be understood, such as helping to regulate mitosis, the cell cycle, the synthesis of ribonucleoproteins, uh, and helps to process spliceosomal RNA, telomerase, which affects the end of chromosomes, the signal recognition peptide, microRNAs, at least some of them, some tRNAs, the RNAs P, which helps to process tRNA. And so nucleoli seem to have many other very important roles in cells, in addition to the enormously important transcription, processing, and assembly of ribosomes. Given these important roles of nucleoli, it is not surprising that their dysfunction can be associated with disease. Cancer has been noted to change uh, the number and size of nucleoli, with nucleoli becoming bigger. And this dysfunction is not just a consequence of the cancer, but may actually then be required for the cancer uh, to uh, progress or to uh, metastasize. Uh, Viral infections, including the infection of coronavirus, can change the protein components of uh, nucleoli, and nucleoli change, uh, often decreasing in size and a number of neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease.